right, I'm so excited today to be here with Pastor Kelly Chapman. And uh, I wish I could say I have spent a lot of time with Pastor Kelly. Do you go by Pastor Kelly or Pastor Chapman or Kelly? What do you like to be called? Um, Kelly or Pastor Kelly, it's fine. All right. Yeah. I would like to say that I've spent a lot of time <laughs> with Pastor Kelly, but every time I have been with him, it has been a pure joy, and I am so grateful. So today, for our video, as we look forward to the next uh, Sunday, I um, have invited Pastor Kelly to be with us, and he has been so gracious to agree to this. And I thought, what better time to get to know Pastor Kelly a little bit before um, we're with him in worship on Sunday. He will be our preacher with the Synod Worship, and that will be a great blessing as well. So, Kelly, big question. First one, where did you grow up? Well, I grew up in Detroit, Michigan. My parents moved from the agricultural south up to the industrial north when I was like four years old. And, and, uh, and then I wound up going to Lutheran High School, Lutheran College, and Lutheran Seminary, and I made it all the way to here with you today. So as a pastor, where all have you served? What have uh, as, congregations? Uh, well, I have pastored in Portland, Oregon, and uh, and I served uh, at a director for youth ministries for the LCA for mm. five years, and and then I've been at Redeemer a Lutheran congregation in North Minneapolis for the past twenty years, and it's retired uh, earlier this year, back in March. Yeah, just as uh, Pastor Kelly and I were talking earlier. He retired, was it a week before the pandemic hit? Yes. So um, either that's really good timing or that's really sad timing. I don't know. It maybe depends on the day. And if there, uh, if there was one thing that you would want us to know about you, what would that be? Yeah, um, that's a, a great question. I, uh, you know, I figured out about halfway through my career that I became a pastor because I love God and I love people. And I remember that because it's not like about how good or bad a preacher I am or how good or bad a teacher I am or you know, all those things that are important in terms of skill set. But I really got into this because I love God and I love people. And uh, that's what floats my boat. Hmm. What a great thing to come back to mid-ministry and Obviously, you still carry that. Um, really big question now that we always ask. I was telling Pastor Kelly that a lot of times we get to know our pastors uh, during the Word for Kids, or we usually have something written up in the bulletin. And this is one question that we always ask, and this one especially for the kids and adults, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Oh, there's so many. But my <laughs> favorite, I think, is uh, walnut ice cream, maybe not the right name for it. I love that ice cream because that's the ice cream that my mother loved. And oh. whenever I eat it, it you know, kind of reminds me of my mother. She's right there with you. Yes. Yeah. So what, as we look to Sunday, um, what's one thing that maybe you would want us to think about? The text is from Matthew 11. And... Um, What's maybe a question you have or something that will kind of help us be drawn um, towards the time when we can be with you again and we can ponder in our own life? What would that be? Oh, I think when I studied the text and um, at the center of the text is Jesus and John the Baptist and remembering that Jesus and John were both uh, living out their sense of call, and their call was to be prophets. And there was a long tradition of being prophets in the, in the faith tradition. And, and I would wonder and maybe ask of your members, each of you, um, how are you a prophet? And what does being a prophet mean in terms of being off of the, maybe the normal beaten path to be that person that's grounded in the reality of God and sometimes speaking a word of truth 
that um, is really what either a person or a society um, that we need to hear um, that helps us to remember uh, our baptism and also what it means to be a part of a reforming, uh, changing reality of God. And by that, I mean a way that God is calling us to help change things for the better and bringing the reality of God mm. into our daily lives. That's a great question. That's one that'd be kind of a lifelong question. Will there be a quiz on Sunday for this? Or <laughs> is this? As in every Sunday, there is a quiz. <laughs> it's like, how did I do the last week and how will I do this coming week? Yeah. There Living our faith in daily life. Yeah, that's a great question. I will think about that too. I'll, I'll ponder that in my own life. And I really, really look forward to hearing, uh, hearing the word, um, hearing it from you. And we're just so grateful that you will be our preacher for yeah. Sunday and for the synod and the worship service that um, everybody will offer. So we're grateful. Yeah. Do you have any thank you for the thank you for the opportunity. Oh, you bet. Do you have any questions for me about St. Stephen or anything, or um, are you hungry for walnut ice cream? Oh, there you go. Yes, <laughs> yeah. it would be a good day for it. <laughs> like every other day. So. Okay. No, I, just, I wish you folks a wonderful Sunday worship, and uh, whether you're in your home or your car or wherever you are. And, uh, be blessed. Thank you. Thank you so much. And just to sign off my part of this, uh, we invite uh, everyone to tune in the usual 10 o'clock, and we will be very blessed as we worship together and in an expanded way, not just um, as a congregation, but we're going to know that congregations throughout the Synod will be um, together in this opportunity. So. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday at 10 a.m. Thanks so much, Kelly. My pleasure.